Real Madrid have reportedly made a 160 million euros bid for Kylian Mbappe. And Mbappe, for his part, said, yeah, I want to go there. I want to go. Julian, good morning. How are you? Hello, guys. I'm very good, thank you. And you? Good, thank you. So tell us this. Mbappe passing up the chance to play alongside Messi, Neymar, Ramos and the others. What does it say uh, about the fact he wants to say au revoir to Ligue 1 at this stage and go to Real Madrid, who apparently were in financial meltdown? <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's another that's another subject. The thing is, with, with Kylian, I think he will also be happy to stay. He doesn't want to go uh, with a clash with PSG. Or, or you know go on strike or anything like this force a move he he would be happy to stay and have the last uh, year of his contract in Paris and play with Messi and Neymar and he's been in a very good mood all summer we've seen him smiling and laughing and and everything but he also would be happy to go if the two clubs can find an agreement he certainly will not force a move if he doesn't go this summer to Real Madrid he will go in 12 month time as a free agent on a free if the two clubs find an agreement in the next six days before the end of the transfer window, then he would be very happy to, to go. As we've always said on the show, every time I was on, his dream is to play one day for Real Madrid. He's, he's 22 years of age. There's still plenty of time for him to do that. So if it happens now, he's, he's very happy. If it happens in a year time, he will be very happy as well. well what are you hearing this morning, Julian? Is it going to happen before the 31st? <laughs> PSG are still saying he's not for sale. Whatever the price, whatever the offer, whoever he's from, regardless, he they, they say they won't let him go. I'm, I'm a bit more skeptical because 160 was rejected. We know that for sure. Are Real Madrid going to come back? Offer 180, 200 million, maybe even more than that. And then what do you do? Can you really turn down 220 million for Kylian Mbappe when he will go on a free in 12 month time? I'm not sure you can, but again, they're saying he's not for sale. It's not about the money. They want that front three of Neymar, Messi and Mbappe at all costs, clearly. So we will have to see. I do think that 200 million euros will really tempt PSG and I would be very curious to see what the answer is. Julian, that comes on the table. Julian, is he bored of winning Liga uh, or does he want to be the number one striker wherever he's playing or does he just want to go and play in La Liga for a new challenge? Yeah, I think it's a bit of all of that. Right? I think, like I said, he 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 would be happy to stay and one more season. And after that, he's a free agent. He can go to Real Madrid. I think he likes the idea, of course, who wouldn't to play with Messi and Neymar. But, and you're right, on the other hand, he wants to be the big star. He wants to be the face of the project, the face of the club. You know, at a club that is maybe PSG for now, but we know that ultimately the goal is to go to something bigger, a better league, a bigger club and... I'm not sure there's there's much bigger than Real Madrid anyway, even, no. even in isn't this a, isn't, like they are now. Julian, isn't this a bit of a body blow for French football and for PSG as a project when arguably the poster boy for French football doesn't want to play in French football, doesn't want to play in uh, the biggest team in French football and ultimately probably one of the richest clubs in the world, wants to go to a league that's got a 70% salary cap, which will probably make it uncompetitive in European, fo European football, in a team that's in decline. Doesn't this say a lot about French football and PSG as a project? I don't think so, because he won't, like I said, he, I don't think he would will, he will mind staying another season. The thing is, we knew from the beginning that eventually he would go to Real Madrid, whether that was after but, but five why? years But why? But Julian, that's not the point I'm making. We, we all know he'll go, he'll stay another season because he's got a yeah. contract. We all know he's happy to go in a year's time because he'll be a free agent and he can get all of the cost of a transfer in his wages. We know that. But we're talking about why would he want to leave PSG, who are setting their stall out to win the Champions League, to dominate Europe, to have the best players, to go to a declining force? Because he's, he's done it all in France, you know, apart from winning the Champions League and they failed twice very closely. He's, he's called 133 goals in 170 appearances for PSG. They've won the league. He's won the league with Monaco before. He wants to go to bigger things. And Real Madrid is a bigger club than PSG. And La Liga is, is a bigger league than Liga, of course. Mm. But I think we could say the same about Liverpool because he, he, he will fancy one day playing for a club like Liverpool to play in the Premier League at some point. Right now, his focus is on he's on Real Madrid more, and he wants to be the part of that rebuilding work that they're going to do there, and he wants to be the the face of it. And I think, yeah, I, you know what, I agree with you in the sense that 
if you look at it, really, this whole thing doesn't make much sense for anyone. Why would Real Madrid pay 200 million for someone they would get on a free in 12 month time? That's nonsense. Why would mm. PSG turn down 160, 180, 200 million when they're going to lose him for free in a year time? That makes no sense. And why would, why would Mbappe pass on the opportunity of playing the whole season with Messi and Neymar, maybe even two years, to go, like you said, and rightly, to a club as Real Madrid, who is in transition, who have lost Sergio Ramos and Rafael Varane, who still have great players and yeah. still a great institution, but certainly not the force that they were when Cristiano Ronaldo was there four or five years ago when they won three Champions sure. League in a row. They're Brief, not going to win Briefly, three Julian, in a row here's now. Trevor again. Julian, is, is it just coincidence that um, League uh, has just fallen out the top five of the top European leagues and uh, La, obviously La Liga are in there? Oh, yeah, Portugal And the bid's gone in for Mbappe. Is that just coincidence? Yeah, yeah, I think so. I think the, the, the results have been disappointing apart from PSG, but we saw last season in the Champions League and the Europa League that other clubs have not done well. So you lose points in your coefficient. That you know that happens. I don't think that's a worry. The the you know Liga have Messi now. They still have loads of good good young players coming through. It's still a, it's still a feeder league, Trevor. But it will always be anywhere, regardless if Mbappe stays or how long Messi stays or mm. Neymar. It will always be a feeder league for most of those clubs. But yeah. no, I think I think disappointing in Europe, yes. But you could see them doing better, hopefully in the, in the near future and coming back into the top five. Jim White and Simon Jordan, Monday to Thursday morning, 10 till 1, on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app, and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.